So we spend all this time on weather, and you hear about that on the news. And the other thing you hear about on the news is climate. And so what we need to do is differentiate between weather and climate. How are they different? And really, what's the big deal about climate? So for starters, we need to understand what the difference is between weather and climate. Weather is the daily conditions. What is the temperature? What is the wind speed? What is the wind direction, the humidity, the dew point? All of these things that we spend all of that time measuring. What's happening on that particular day in one particular area is weather. Climate is a long-term pattern of weather. So it's uh, determined over decades or even a uh, hundred years of uh, data gathered in an area determining what is that area usually like at different times of the year. Uh, a couple of phrases that will help you to remember that is climate tells you what clothes to buy and weather tells you what clothes to wear. Or in other words, uh, climate is what to expect and weather is what you get. We see a lot of this in the news. People talk about, oh my gosh, we're in this huge cold snap or we're in this, uh, have this massive snowstorm, so climate change must not be happening. But what we're talking about in those situations is weather events. If it's one season or if it's one week, that's not climate. That's weather. So climate is defined by two things. An area's climate is defined by the average temperature in that area and the average amount of precipitation. To give you an example, uh, in Polson, for example, annually they receive about 15 inches of rain. Now in Baltimore, Maryland, they receive annually 50 inches of rain. And in Forks, Washington, they annually get 13 feet of rain. So precipitation is a factor in determining what type of climate you're in, and also so is the temperature. Now, what controls the temperature and the precipitation in an area? Well, that's two things. The latitude, uh, how far from the equator. Obviously, the closer to the equator, the warmer, and the farther from the equator, the cooler. The elevation in the area, and we all know this, the higher the elevation, the cooler it gets. And whether or not you are near water or mountains, uh, being close to water, like being close to Flathead Lake, moderates the temperature. If you've ever looked uh, long-term at temperatures in Missoula, Kalispell, and in Polson, Polson is always a little bit warmer in the winter and a little bit cooler in the summer than those two cities because of the lake. And it also is accentuated by the fact that we can grow cherries here and we don't grow those anywhere else in the state. And mountains can cause air to rise and more precipitation or less precipitation depending on which side of the mountain you're on. 